Hello, my name is Cameron Cooper and I'm a commercial banker for Regions Bank. Today, I wanna to talk to you guys about a credit score. I want to make sure you know what it is, how it's calculated, why it's important or why does it matter, what makes it go up or down, and then how you can protect it. My ultimate goal today is make sure you don't make all the classic rookie mistakes that I made uh, when I was potentially younger in my life, maybe your age or not. But let's start off, first start off with a credit score. What is a credit score? A credit score uh, defines your relationship with uh, banks or other people that you may, may owe money to. So it, it determines, in essence, how good you are at repaying your debts. And it's broken down into a three-digit number. And the scores run from 350 all the way up to 850. And essentially, if you're below 650, that's a problem. If you're up around 700, that's good. So for the most part, it matters because you'll be seeking credit products in your future. And like I stated, if it's below 650, um, it won't be very good. And if it's above, you won't really notice it in your day-to-day -day life. The problem comes when your credit score dips down to 650. Because the lower it goes, the more likely you are to default on the debt in the eyes of the creditors or the lenders. And the, most, the more likely you are to receive higher interest rates on credit and loans. So here's how your credit score is calculated. It's, it basically comes down to 35% of your score is calculated based on payment history. 30% is based on amounts owed. 15% is based on the length of credit history. So that's when you first applied for your loan or whenever you open an account as, at a bank. That's when the clock starts. 10% is based on types of credit in use. Is it long-term financing like a mortgage or is it short-term like a credit card product? And then the other 10%, the last category is new credit. Again, so how often are you applying for new credit? So let, let's talk about um, why credit matters. I know, I know it's easy to convince yourself that credit scores don't mean much. And maybe if you ignore it, it'll go away. But in reality, if you don't arm yourself with a good credit score, you'll have way more issues than you would um, without it. And a good credit score says something about your character. It means you're responsible and that you honor your debts. And that's the two primary characteristics that banks look for when someone is requesting credit. And it also means that you can be trusted. So who looks at your credit score? It's actually more people than you think. Everyone knows your credit when it's checked and you apply for a credit card or a loan, but it could also be pulled from someone who is considering hiring you or renting you an apartment. Now let's talk about how can I make it go up or down? Again, I wanna make sure you don't make all the classic rookie mistakes that I made when I was your age. So here's some things that can make it go up or down. Primarily, let's start with down. So missing credit card payments. That's a huge one. If you miss a credit card payment, it will reduce your credit score significantly. So always try to repay your debts and don't borrow more than you can pay. A good rule of thumb is when calculating how much you can set aside every month to repay your debts, hold, withhold about 70% of your cash flow, the, the money that hits your bank account every month, and don't delegate more than 30% of that to repaying credit cards or other forms of debt off. Forgetting to pay a hospital bill that ends up in collections, that's another one. That can deteriorate your credit score as well. Ignoring a few, okay, maybe dozens of parking tickets. That can definitely affect your credit score. Going over your credit card limit. So whenever you're given a credit card with, from a bank or other institution, you're going to give a limit on how much you can borrow. 
So do not always stay within that limit. And if you're approaching it, you can make an unscheduled credit card payment. And the last one, but it's also very important, applying for too many cards at once. So try to limit maybe twice a year on how often you apply for a credit card or a new credit card. And today I would like to end by how you protect your credit score or credit history. There are a lot of criminals and phishing schemes out there to steal your credit report uh, and to also apply for loans or credit cards under your social security number. The best way that you can protect it is if you freeze your credit report with all the major three agencies, TransUnion, Equifax, and Experian. And it's totally free to do it. You just go online or call their 1-800 number, enter your social, freeze your credit, but don't forget to write all that information down and store it because whenever you do go apply for credit, you'll need to freeze or unfreeze your credit report. And you can even set a timeline for it to end to freeze, maybe for a couple of days until it takes you to apply uh, for whatever you're applying for, and then lock it back down the next day. So that's all. Hope you have a great day. Thanks.